You know, this is Pat's two cents. One of the things that I, I find myself being bothered by, and this is around my brothers and sisters in Christ. There was a time when I needed to go through this little period of socializing and eating out and hanging and all of that. But now it seems like the more I get involved in the things of God, not patting myself on the back. I'm not doing that. My point is, the more I get involved, the more I'm starting to see. And the more I'm starting to see, the more danger I'm becoming aware of. And the more danger I'm becoming aware of, the more trivial it seems to be just hanging out and having fun. And it's not that it's not fun. It's that... It's not carrying the joy for me because I'm seeing that as that much more of a distraction when we need to be doing what God said in Joel chapter 2. We need to be uh, between the porch and the altar. We need to be weeping. We need to be all about focusing in on what's to come. There are dangers coming our way. There are things coming and we are blind. We have our blinders on. It's like, okay, wait, 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 wait. I want to watch this program. Oh, yeah. Danger's coming. Why do you always got to be a killjoy? God tells his people, if I say, if I put the watchman on the wall, I tell them, hey, danger's coming. Go warn the people. And you warn the people, that, and they listen or don't listen. You saved yourself. You're good. But their blood I require at their own hands. But if I tell you there's danger coming, and you look, you see the danger, you go down to the people, but you don't warn them, and the danger comes, and they're swept up, and destroyed by it, their blood, God will hold at our hands. So we have to warn, whether you want to hear it or not, we are just being as obedient as possible. I want God to come and get me. I don't want him to look at me and say, I never knew you. I don't want him to say that to me. So yes, I will tell you, sin is sin. I will tell you, yeah, don't commit adultery. There are consequences, you know. Yeah, it's not cool to molest a child. Homosexuality really is a sin. God calls it an abomination. Witchcraft, the occult, all of that. Even drugs open doors for the demonic. You know, come on now. We're not trying to be a killjoy. We're not trying to spoil your feast of charity. We're trying to help spare lives. We're trying to help save souls. We're not saying we're better than you. We've been out there doing it too. But God pulled our coattail and said, enough. And we took heed. The only difference between you and us is we're listening. We're doing our best to obey. And we're doing our best to draw close to God at a time when the world could care less about Him. So if you want to put down born-again Christians and you want to look at people like they're crazy, like they need a crutch, yeah, Jesus is my crutch. Yeah, I lean on Him all the time. I call on God for everything. There's no crutch in the world that can hold me like God can. So if you want to call him a crutch, if you want to call him a crutch, I didn't say crunch, I said crutch, go right ahead. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. What are you leaning on? 